Let's start with coma and first kind diagnostic. Say this is the CBCT of the patient that you had requested. The area of interest is the upper left six and seven for crack evaluation. Um, focusing mainly on the upper left six first, we can very clearly see that there is a slight crack here or a line here that could be uh, where we believe the crack extends. We see a line extending from the pulp chamber palatally on the seventh as well. Um, when we move further down towards the apex, you can see um, that there is a crack here in the distal part of the six um just a faint line here and you can see that there is a um pdl widening in the six and the seven especially in the interradicular area right here associated with this line right here when we move further down you can see that the crack is still uh, present and as we are moving further down you can see that the radio still exists between the six and seven but primarily it is extending from the six and it is not a periodontal lesion it's actually a lesion that extends from the root so it could be an endoperio lesion as well um, as we move further down we don't see any major periapical radiolucencies in the six uh, what we see a slight radiolucency in the seven um, but this could not uh, this is not associated with the crack but could just be um, a lesion in the periodontal spaces um, just to give you an idea we don't see a, a very clear cut mb2 uh, but a very faint uh, MB1 and a faint MB2 might be available, but we think it is extremely sclerosed. Um, no MB2 in the 7s. Uh, the 6 definitely is a culprit uh, which identifies as a cracked tooth, uh, but otherwise the 7 um, looks appropriate. Thank you very, very much.